What's going on YouTube? Subbone Saint bringing you an accessory called the Easy Dripper. Now this is come made straight out of a company called Easy Cloud. I did receive mine from the V Spot Vapor Room. So I will leave a link in the description on where you can get one. These things are about roughly 25 bucks. I haven't seen them any higher than that, so I mean jump on this, but in the meantime, guys, I wanted to kind of take a, this time to kind of apologize for not uploading yesterday. I was kind of waiting for this whole little background thing. Because I'm trying to make it look a little more professional for you guys. Because I know the last background wasn't as professional as I'd like it to be. been. So, I knew that this was going to come today. So, I was like, okay, you know what? I'll just wait until the day that it comes in. That way I can upload the video and make it look a little more professional. Instead of waiting until the weekend to broadcast my new blue so without further ado I say we dive down take a closer look at this thing I break this thing apart show you all the ins and outs how to operate it how to fill it all that good stuff and you guys can decide by the end of this video whether you want to buy it or not but let's go to it Alright guys, here we are. Here's the standard packaging of it. Just a standard plastic little box. Now, before everybody blows up my comment feed, just straight up hating on this product, it does warn you, do not drip and drive. Do not use when the vehicle is in motion, and if used in a car, place it so it doesn't affect your view or driving ability. So, it does tell you guys that. So, before you guys start hating on it, just be forewarned. So, here it is. You just open up here. It's got all the instructions pretty much right here. It's on that and the back side. Here's the device. It's got this little, let me set that to the side. You got this right here where you just unscrew it. Loosens it up. You can adjust it any way you want. It does adjust in like a 145 degree angle. So whichever way you feel comfortable setting it to, that's where it stays. It does have a strong suction cup, holds on to it. Can hold on to any windshield, flat surface, you name it. If you want to just stick it to the dresser or to the wall beside a light switch or just say, say you're straight up like gaming or something. I mean, this would be the device for you while you're gaming. You can sit there and just, you ain't got to worry about filling with a bottle. You just drip, drip away. Now, keep in mind, do not leave this in cars. It might, it might melt that suction cup thing. Also, if you leave it in your car, the juice in the bottle will thin out. So, therefore, your bottle might leak. I haven't had that problem, but just just so I let everybody know about that so now here's your bottle this bottle does hold 14 or ah, not 14 15 mils of e-juice just pop that right off here you go real real simple just unscrew this to refill pretty wide bore pretty much get just about anything you want you can actually get like a 15 or a 30 mil bottle and just straight up pour it in there but now whenever you fill this thing up with e-juice and it empties this little plastic piece will kind of push out the air that way you don't have no it don't shoot blanks yeah <laughs> so anyways Whenever you're done and you're getting ready to refill it, you have to push that little plastic piece down in here. You have to push it all the way back down. I don't, you can use a screwdriver, a pencil, any, just about anything. Screw that back on. I really like that feature that you can just pull it out of there. Take this bottle with you wherever you go. Now, put it in here. 
There you go. You are mounted and ready to roll. Drip away, my friends. Drip away. In order to get it out, all you do is just push on it. And there you go. So, that's the easy dripper, guys. I wanted to kind of show you an up close and kind of walk you through it. I mean, there's not really too much to talk about about it. So, I will go back to FaceTime, maybe talk a little bit about it. All right, guys. Now, that's the easy dripper. I did go ahead and take the liberty of putting some e-juice in here. I do want to tell you guys something I didn't tell you while we were in the up closies. Every pump that you do on this it equals five drips. So just don't say I didn't tell you. Because I did. I know I did. I told you. So anyways, my opinion on this device, I'm actually I was actually pretty excited about this device to be honest with you. I mean I'm the type of person I use a tank when I drive. A majority of the time, if I'm on long road trips or just something something like that, I'm using a tank. So I mean to me, this was not a must buy, but it is convenient to have in your vehicle if anything comes up to where you have to run to the store, or the grocery store, or you have to go, ooh, you have to go to a vape stop, a shop, or anything like that, and you don't feel like taking the time to switching out to a tank because you're only going to be gone for like five or ten minutes. Go ahead and use this thing, and I mean, if you're at a stoplight or something, just go ahead, put a couple pumps in there. It's always good to get a few pumps in there. We all know that. Anyways, so, do I recommend this device? Yes and no. In a way, in a way, I feel a lot of people's grief with it, but at the same point, it's... They're advising you on the package to not drip and drive and not to dri drip while you're in motion and yeah my phone just went off Not to not to drip while you're in motion man. You done messed me up. Anyways So Buy a tank, but I mean if you're gonna use this thing in the appropriate way to where you're at a stoplight or something And you want to stick it up in there get a few drops get that thing wet <laughs> uh, and sorry sorry I don't know where my my mind's in the gutter today so anyways I like it I haven't had no problems with it whatsoever I think it's actually really cool I mean that's really really cool I don't have to sit there and struggle with a bottle anymore I can just slide that little thing off and just stick it up hey anything that is a little more safer I don't see any difference in this than changing your radio station or reaching down there and grab your mod or anything like that so I will put a link in the description to where you can get one of these and yeah that's about my opinion you guys um, I hope you guys if you pick one up I hope you enjoy it as much as I do please stay safe keep your eyes on the road only use this when you're stopped thank you guys so much and Y'all come back now.